Hi, welcome to BCH Technologies. This is Kevin. Today we're going to talk about how to correct a color without ICC. Um, we don't normally provide ICC profile for our uh, inks. Um, here, here are the reasons. First of all, um, ICC profile is depend on the type of a printer and depend on each ink settings and uh, each, each media. For example, if you print with a glossy paper, it will depend on what brand of glossy paper you're using. You use Kodak, you use Fuji, or you use a generic uh, uh, paper you bought from market. And uh, if you use a plant paper, whether the plant paper is 97, uh, brightness or 92 brightness. So all of those changes, every single one, you need ICC profile. And the second layer is uh, not all the problem are caused, caused by the ICC. For example, when we print a photo of our beloved Supreme Leader, and uh, actually uh, this one is our leader, and uh, so you can see our leader get the lines across the face. That's a big disgrace. And uh, that's not caused by ICC. So lots of people, when they buy ink and uh, they haven't unclogged their printer yet and uh, they get all sorts of questions, but uh, their first reaction is, hey, can you send me ICC uh, profile? Oh, we can't. So we have to ask you uh, where you get your ink. Are you print on glossy paper? What brand of glossy paper it is? And uh, uh, and what's your setting? Are you setting at the photo setting, or are you are you want to print that uh, the as a text and uh, text and uh, photo combination setting? Okay, so basically, um, we eventually we're going to provide some uh, generic uh, ICC profiles, um, but however, um, we made our ink really close to the regular Epson ICC, so uh, it's. So you can just use the, uh, the Epson size IC. And uh, so what's the purpose of uh, making another ICC that's generic? So we do make a customized ICC, which you can order for, you can order online. And uh, each ICC is gonna cost about $59. However, there's uh, always a debate. Uh, um, uh, there, there's always uh, politics. Uh, there are always a rebate uh, for the ICC that you're making. So, uh, so we're gonna have another video cover cover how to make ICC and uh, cover what's the importance of ICC when you want to have a customized ICC. So basically, today's question is: uh, We have a picture of our uh, beloved supreme leaders, and. Uh, uh, there's our leader right now, and there there's our leader in the future. So they look weird. Okay, uh, we unclog it so we can see a we can see even a single hair on the on their head. However, this guy look orange, and this guy look yellow. Okay, so what are we gonna do about it? Each of your print went through this printer. There are two levels of color management. The bottom level is the printer. Okay, by default, printer gonna pick a color management profile, and this profile is installed on your on your computer. Okay, and then on top of the printer, there's a software. So, if you have a software saying, "I'm going to use this color profile." To print this picture, the printer will not use its lower level SEC profile. It will use the softwares. However, if you have a software that didn't say anything, the printer is going to pick its own default SEC profile. If you do not have a SEC profile by default, you're going to print without any color management. Okay, let's play with uh, the color management management at lower level first. Uh, so we went to device and printers, and uh, we can. Uh, let me show you the, cost, the system level first. So we right click and set printer properties. Okay. 
if we click color management, this is not only for this printer. Although we can't, we got here from a well, particular printer. This color color management is for for the whole computer. Okay. Let's say we're um, let's say we're uh, on display one, and which is uh, this monitor. Actually, this monitor has its own color management. The color management management is how a device is going to interpret the color from the file. I actually cal calibrate this monitor, so what you see here is exactly color from the file. So it's hundred percent accurate color. So for those of, of you at home didn't calibrate your mon monitor, you need a special device to calibrate it. So what you see actually is pretty much right now pretty much you are seeing a different color than what's what the color in the file. So so let's see we're going to see the color management for the Epson fourteen thirty. Okay. And you can see we're not forcing the printer using this one. So the printer will pick any one from here as the printer feel fits. So or so you can see it's automatic or I can tell the printer uh, okay uh, we're still at the lo lower level okay we can still tell the printer I'm gonna use this guy which is made by Epson okay so so if I if I close and save this this printer will use this standard as default okay so now you understand how the printer got default value also okay okay if I'm crazy enough uh, I can pick a printer okay I'm not going to use this printer much okay so you can see this printer doesn't have its default color management uh, most of those HP office jet because it's print uh, text messages te text files I don't really have a default color management okay with that uh, with that default color management uh, understood now we're going to show you how to turn on and turn off the color management on each printer so we select a 1430 instead of going to printer properties we're going to print preferences and uh, as I said is managed by each of the settings for example we're going to use the photo okay and uh, what do we do is we go to advanced you can say color control when you say color control which is the printer going to help you pick the color my color management okay and uh, the printer will go to the default default SEC profile which we said earlier however we can go to SEM okay this SEM is so you can you can pick your own SEM or we can turn it off so if we turn it off the printer will either listen to the software or just do not use S SEM at all so let's say we turn this off okay and now let me show you a couple other printers that we can turn off we, let's pick another Epson remember we're going to print the preferences oh, uh, this one I didn't actually install the whole driver so let's say we let's, let's, let's pick a different brand let's pick a Canon the same thing we go to print preferences and uh, we'll go to photo printing and uh, here 
we can see the color and then we do a menu and the matching so the driver matching which is we did earlier or we can do a I'll do a SEM if we have the SEC profile and uh, we're gonna if we select none say OK and uh, we turn this off so let's go around and turn off uh, color ma color management at lower level for everybody just for fun so remember this guy doesn't have uh, okay how about we try photo smart any preferences <coughs> and we don't want that the printer to fix anything for us And here's color man management. And uh, we're going to select application manage colors. So what we're going to do is uh, we print from application, and from the application, we said uh, do not use SEC. And that will do it. OK, here's how to turn off and turn on the color management for Epson, HP, and Canon. So, let me show you, we already turned off the color manage management for the, uh, uh, for, the, for the printer. So we need a software like a Photoshop or some, something can print with, uh, can, can select the SEC profile when it's printing. Uh, if you can, if you can, that's fine. So, so we go to print. Uh, you can see the, I mean, the print is not uh, something that you're going to jump out the window and they look pretty nice. Uh, it's a, this is using the standard ICC. Um, but when you compare to the glossy ICC, you're going to see a difference. So it's a lot warmer here and it's a lot colder here. Uh, so what's the correct color and uh, how I adjust it? Uh, this video we're going to adjust it without SEC profile. We'll need uh, a standard color, uh, the color testing picture like this. So what the beauty about this is, uh, okay, uh, what's the beauty about this is that uh, this is the standard gray. So first thing we do is we can we can correct over color if this picture is off. So we go to uh, uh, adjustment, image adjustment curves. So pick the gray and uh, pick the eyedropper and click on it. And say OK. Now this color is perfect color. So let's print this. Uh, let's print this without SEC first. So we go print. So printer settings. Now I'm adjusting a lower level. We am going to do a photo, glossy paper, letter size, SEC off. And uh, then we let the printer manage color. So nobody is managing right now. So the Photoshop tell the printer you manage it. And the printer said you just turn me off. I'm not gonna manage it. So let's print it. So oh, the girl look pretty nice and uh, here you can see as uh, uh, for most home users there's no reason you ask for ICC. Uh, the BCH ink is pretty close to uh, pretty close to I mean I was I won't say perfect pretty close to Epson. However uh, if you're professionals you're gonna start seeing problems. Okay, I must say uh, it's not that BCH ink sucks. Uh, it's because uh, even you use original original Epson, and uh, at this level, you you get a 
probably the same result because it's highly depend on your batch of ink and uh, and uh, depends on individual ink. Whatever Epson gave to you is also uh, uh, is also generic. So if you want to customize ink, you have to do your own as you see. Okay. Now I put a uh, I put a extra the color check on, and you can see the. You can see the blue is off, and uh, the brown is a little bit off, and uh, you can start seeing the things about the green. Okay, and uh, the result. Okay, let me show you how to how to read this. You go, you're supposed to see a continuous ingredients. Uh, continuous down. If you see it's really zigzag, and uh, and uh, that that means that there's a color mixing problem, and uh, and you can and you can see another thing is uh, the whether the skin color is continuous and uh, healthy, and uh, and they also look at the hair whether it's vibrant, okay. And here. What you see is a, this is a mixture mixture of the ink. It's not printed by the black ink. This is a mixture of all the color inks. So you're supposed to see a continuous gradients down, and here you can see a little bit of for little little bit of magenta. So so this part that this ink has problem. Also this part it has a little bit of problem here. Okay, I just tear my own ink apart. So let's say this is no management. Okay, let's print one with a correct Epson SEC. Uh, as I said, uh, the problem with SEC uh, with Epson is they have to face uh, the same problem we have, which is uh, we're going to use different kind of glossy photos. So for example, this one we bought on sale for, uh, I don't remember, it's really cheap, it's Kodak, uh, it's Kodak paper. So Epson has to make a generic SEC too. So, uh, so therefore, uh, their ink is not going to perform any better than our ink, I think. Actually, I know. So we go to print. And this time, we're going to manage the colors. Okay, remember to double check that uh, the printer is not messing up anything. Photo paper doesn't fix anything. SSA off. Okay, the printer is good. And here we're going to uh, see the Epson gave you like ultra premium, those are uh, Epson stocks. We're going to use a uh, photo paper glossy, not a premium glossy. Okay. On the right is the one that we use. Uh, no, we use the Epson, the correct SEC. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let's do an analysis. So, uh, this is this is a BCH ink with uh, Epson SEC, uh, because we target over ink exactly to to Epson SEC. So, uh, when you use Epson SEC, it looks much better. So there's no management. And uh, you still can see the ingredients, but this is not caused by the by the uh, by the ICC. This is caused by by the ink and the, and the printer's ability itself. But you can see here is much black and white, more more like a real gray than this. This is a magenta, okay. And uh, check the live ingredients and check the white. Overall, this is true black, okay? So the black look good, and uh, see the two color patterns. And uh, here you're gonna see a big difference when you manage the, manage the color, okay? So let me show you the correct color. This monitor is calibrated, so the correct color is this, okay? See the incorrect color, okay? And also this thing is, uh, not as continuous as this guy, as this, okay? 
So it's squirt pretty big. So I told you about the hair. And this looks like a pretty dull hair. And the skin tone. And the ultimate check is color. Okay, let me put them the two colors together and show you the improvement. Can I see the blue? So most of this ICC correction is on the blue. And I see the okay. Okay, just without anything, we just use the absence SEC and uh, use a BCH ink, and uh, there's a significant significant improvement. However, how can I compare to the original? And uh, there's no way you can compare, you can get exactly a match as your monitor because your monitor is a different color system. And uh, however, what I want is, uh, so now now we're talking outside the ICC now. Okay, we, we know we can use this ICC. Uh, the difference is uh, more like a, person preferences. I'm trying to, okay, now I got it. When it's far away, it's better. So what I want is, uh, I feel the original is a little bit warm. So the original, original uh, is more little bit of uh, towards the magenta side. Okay, this is at your home. You cannot find the best SEC you want. So what you want is you want to print out a bit, little bit warmer. Okay, let's try this. Uh, let's go to image adjustment color balance, and uh, now we want more towards red. So first one for the magenta. I had a twenty percent. Maybe we had twenty too much. Ten percent, and for the yellow, I decreased ten percent. Okay. Now I go print. Still, we uh, turn out with uh, with something with use photo for uh, glossy. I will turn off the SEC management at lower level and uh, because we really like this SEC profile which I'm going to print this probably don't see too much difference so this is uh, uh, the both of it SEC but this one I got a uh, uh, color toned a little bit and still everything else is the uh, I mean it's pretty cool I just said uh, this, this gets a little bit warmer than this So what I did is uh, let's pick them and let's pick them magenta. So we feel this magenta wasn't spot on. So we change a little bit to here. I think the magenta is better matching now. And the uh, thing is the yellow. Okay, I think the original is more like spot on. But the yellow we made now, we decreased it, so the yellow is not good. So we're going to change the yellow back to zero, but we're going to keep the magenta. Now it's the moment of truth. Let's do some street test. Out of those three pictures, which one do you like better? Out of the pigments, is that what you're asking me? Or uh, those are three pictures. Which which picture do you think is more like vibrant, like accurate? It would be this one, I would say. Oh, wow. <laughs> Am I wrong? Nice. Okay. No, no, you're right. I mean, this okay. one is more colored. I mean, I see the depths of the color, but it's more tenting, and this one looks like it's more vibrant and bright and stands out like a professional shot. You're right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So how about <clears throat> this? It would have to be this one. 
I like that one, the standard one. The standard one? But that's just me. I don't know. Okay. Oh, I see the gloss now. Now I see the gloss. So, yeah, with this one, it mm -hmm. brightens it. It's just the standard one. Right. So this, so this make, one more color. Yeah, yeah, that's more color, and this one is the, like, standing out brightness yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, it's totally personal preferences. Yeah, yeah. They, they're both they're both pretty good. Yes, they're both mm -hmm. pretty good. I mean, it, I mean, if you want the gloss, that's what you want. That's mm -hmm. like a professional photograph mm -hmm. here. This is more of a printout. Mm -hmm. So, cool. so out of those two supreme leaders, which one you like better? That one. <laughs> <laughs> you you like the Kim Jong? Yes, I do. Okay, don't be fast. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally, Queensboro, North Carolina. Thank you. Cheers.